ले चन जाय गन रे लंगा वेन जो निसम हि पसरी कुमसा नि बनि डॉक्ट्रिनल क्लास लेसन नंबर 9 न तुरन तो दोना सुन वेन इन कोम चन तुरन एच सी सो मेना छांग चन तो ट्राइ मेने इस तुरन इस दे जे थे एम ओ पथ्यान हा को नि लो जुम चायम ลอลปากะปะทะนินบังอินเอนโคชิงตูอิคอยนะเตอิซาไงนะเตจังอินเลปาจันอินหุนะเตโคชันเฮาเตเลปาดุมเกลจังอินคอมนะเนเลเทต
We have learned in the previous lesson about the sonship and the humanity of Jesus Christ. The sonship of Jesus Christ have specific period. That is beginning and end. If we are not clear about it, then we will not be able to understand and believe on the only one and true God. That's why to know about the sonship. In other way, was the dual nature of Jesus Christ. Otherwise, it will be very difficult to understand the real and only true God. There are some people, some believers, most of the believers in this universe believes in the eternal Son. The examples are the Trinitarians. They believe that the Son is eternal. That is, they believe, who believe there are three distinct persons in the one God, that is Trinity. So let's see about the Trinity, how it comes. According to Tertullian, Father is the only true God and the Son is subordinate to the Father. He stated that Father is the most high God and the Son is proceeded out of the Father. Later on, Tertullian and Athanasius states that Jesus, Jesus Christ proceeded from the Father and is subordinate or second place. The Word becomes flesh, that is, Jesus is having same essence with Father eternally and believes that Jesus remains together all the time with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God the Son, as the God the Son. Therefore, the beliefs of Jesus Christ as an eternal Son is to believe three distinct persons in one God, that is Trinity. However, there is not a single place in the Bible where Jesus Christ was called eternal Son. This is imputed or uh, added up in the belief of the Christian as the uh, time progress from first century. So it's these are all developed developed fully in the third and fourth century that there are three distinct persons in God. Now so now the as for the Bibles, let's see the sun is not eternal. The sonship of Jesus Christ have specific period with the beginning and the end. And the sonship of Jesus Christ is not eternal. To be an eternal son, there should be there should be no beginning and no end. Jesus Christ was born of Mary, Matthew chapter 1, verse 25, and Luke chapter Two verse seven. Born of Mary in Bethlehem, we found in Luke chapter two five and Matthew two one. The sonship of Jesus Christ begins in Bethlehem and have the beginning, and therefore it cannot be eternal. Apostle John wrote, "For oh God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life." John. 3 verse 16. Apostle John said Jesus Christ is the only begotten Son because Mary is pregnant by the Holy Spirit. In John 4 24, we see God is Spirit, that means the one that caused Mary's pregnancy is by the God Himself, Holy Spirit. Therefore, Jesus Christ is called the Son of God. The angels told Mary about the birth of Jesus Christ, so the only one to be born will be called the Son of God. Luke chapter 1, verse 21, 5. The sonship of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is in his humanity, not eternal Son. What the Trinity believes? The Trinity believes that the Son was there with the God before the foundations. Because the Logos is, they say, the Word is the Son, that which the Trinity doctrine started was with 
God before the foundations of anything. But as for the Bible, the sun begins on incarnation. The, when the word becomes flat, then the sunship begins. Uh, born out of Mary in Bethlehem, and it ends in the Calvary cross, that will be, which we are covering now. Beginning of sonship, let's see, according to the Bible. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, which also the sonship have the beginning and the end. From the pregnancy of Mary, his sonship begins. The sonship of Jesus Christ being from the womb of Mary. The sonship was for a specific period of time. Apostle Paul wrote in Galatians chapter 4, verse 4 to 5. But when the set time had fully come, God sent his son, born of a Mary, a woman, born under the law, to redeem those under the law, that we might receive adoption to sonship. Jesus Christ, Son of God is not eternal. The sonship was for a specific period which begins from the birth at the Bethlehem. So the sonship started, begins from the Bethlehem only. Not it is right from before the foundations of the world or every universe. It begins at Bethlehem. When flesh, what become flesh? When God incarnate in the flesh. Jesus' sonship according to Bible. Let's see. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Luke chapter 2, verse 11. And we found in Hebrew chapter 1, 5. For to which of the angels did God ever say, You are my son. Today I have become your father, or again I will be his father, and he will be my son. So everyone, every child on this earth has been born of the mother. Likewise, son of God was also born of Mary, mother. Beginning of the sunset, that is the beginning of the sunset. The Bible says today, which is the time of God at Bethlehem, is the beginning of the sunset. Now, let's come up some of the end of sonship. There is says, there's a says, every human being is born to live and all live to die, which is very correct. Jesus Christ become the son of God, has been born of mother, human being, and has the end. Sonship ended when Jesus Christ died on the cross for the redemption of the mankind. After that, he be again occupied the fathership in relationship to mankind. Therefore, Apostle Paul wrote, When he has done this, then the Son himself will be made subject to him who put everything under him, so that God may be all in all. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 28. As Apostle Paul has told, the Sonship of Jesus Christ and then on the cross, and he occupied the place of God the Father and put everything under him. That the invisible God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the only true God, Jehovah, become flesh, that the word become flesh, that the mind and thought and reasoning of the God become flesh, and they call, we call him Jesus Christ. So, Jesus Christ lived around 33 years on this earth. He do, does his ministry, and he died for the redemption of us. And again, that word, a reasoning of God, goes back to God and occupy the place of God, of the Father, put everything under him. So now, Jesus Christ, which was the invisible image of the a visible image of the invisible God, which can which is tangible and which can be heard, which can uh, we can be together with him in on, in flesh, but now become took his origin.
eternal form as a father after the resurrection. So the sonship period of Jesus Christ was from Bethlehem up to the Calvary cross. During this period, he lives like the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, born at Bethlehem, brought up in Nazareth, done his ministry in all the region of Palestine, and then had been also many time arrested, at last crucified on the cross, died, buried, and after resurrection, he become reoccupied the his original place as the Almighty God. So this is a short uh, lesson today. We come to the conclusion that the sonship of Jesus Christ is not eternal. It is. It has a beginning and it has a, an end. So it has been specifically, purposefully been uh, made the sonship because God Himself has to come down as a man to redeem us, to save us from the Adam sin, the sin of Adam, which we already seen in the Genesis, because God has already cursed human beings so that Adam's sin is running throughout in our blood and genes. So until and unless a blameless, sinless man or human flesh is sacrificed, the redemption cannot be fulfilled. That's why all the human beings born on earth are sinners. And Apostle Paul said that, for all have sinned and sought falls of the glory of God. That's why the God Himself, the logo, has to become a flesh to do that job. So it took 33 years for the logos to complete the mission. And now the word of God again take, took the original place from where He comes on in earth. So that is about the sonship of God. If we do not understand, the dual nature of Jesus Christ when he was on this planet earth of 33 years, then it will be very difficult to understand the only true God. That's why those theologians or philosophy, they put their philosophy on the Bible and they come out in the second, in the third, early third century that there is a three distinct person. So initially, they start with two distinct persons and ultimately uh, they put on the Holy Spirit to become the three distinct persons and they call it as a Trinity doctrine, which is not in the Bible. It is imputed in the Bible, try to impute it, but it is outside the Bible, which we cannot uh, uh, accept it because whatever we accept, we believe, should should be proved in scripture. So now, now, what we have learned from this lesson today, let's see. Number one, Jesus' sonship period begins at Bethlehem when he was born of Mary and ended on the cross when he died, then buried. Jesus Christ is not eternal. Son. Because son, when was son when born of Mary, it cannot be a eternal because it is a humanity of the Jesus Christ that was visible and tangible. The son is not an eternal. Sonship of Jesus Christ and and after resurrection becomes the Almighty God. The Almighty. God comes as a son, as a, the word becomes flesh and ended on the cross and after resurrections, again he becomes the almighty God. The sonship of Jesus Christ is in relation to his humanity. So the question is now, number one, who brought out the word Trinity? The answer is, is the father of Trinity, Tertullian. Second question is, the sonship beginning day 
of Jesus Christ is called what we celebrate Christmas. When did Jesus sonship end? The answer is when he died and buried. Tell the beginning and end of Jesus' sonship period. It is very everyone will know that it begins at Bethlehem but and ended on the cross when he died and buried. So that is our uh, lessons we concluded and I think for us it is not, not difficult to understand because we know this that's why we hold these doctrines of oneness so now, now it is the end of my sessions let me stop this sharing. Uh, so now anybody if have something uh, query or some question can ask from this lessons. Uh, and now I hand over the time to our moderator. Praise the Lord. May good God bless each and every one of us. Thank you, Evan Dr. Pilang. Again, it was a wonderful message. And uh one uh can can of us hang to try to win can some don't yeah. Hallelujah, Lalpa, Ming Faginum Rose, Lalpa Hunununga Tillo Um to Risoi, Jong Jong. Hello, Ting Maker, Lalpa Kuvela Um can you bang in if I the pop? The Yan can tell Vesela, the milk and the mushilava. It would tell out and dig a bang in your own any dick and shea in a long two can shea. Jutty light and lalpa. Sing be may can near bang in loud tone at day. Tapana take a night chin, hang at lalpa. In some more than a canteen long at two years and so it would in the coin and run dealer. Why not it too can jirte? Lalpa can tell you what I'm in Malmin Swam Shakla. If I tell you not to, young, I can feel the usual man. Nan Lalpa. I tell you, me no puyang che. The Juan Lalpa. Eh, si leeng laka om kanya bangin. Ini jinga po. Lokai bete kan nau te kan pate noma. Amaro chikong ay na kan chala. Lalpa Vaina Tulamum can see and the Meti can see the wine near along to can run. So, yeah, John Lalpa Hota Telela Um Tepo can the wine can on the moon at two. So, it will let low to let boy to lead in Cobelia Cata. So, I can Lalpa Naman Minon Puya in Tamona. He ought him in Shatira. It who te until Lua. Atarin lalpa in siya tirjala. Nang lao chuin ha tul kan na italabe. Nang chao hi kanin ha na ini. O lalpa boy na hiyan. Inhe na loom tu kan ron suya. Boy ni teng na lalpa kan la damabahin kan looma. Inhe na loom tu kan ron suya mo. Mo lo ni. Janin jan kwen mo nong puila nagtuwa kan hon tu te. Tuang taka kan man thayle na tulin jan kwa ngay ikut. Jakin minum buih teh untuk jen kan lalpa isu najirat ini tiang lemin kanon di le. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.